So growing up, I always had a lot of what you would call interesting experiences. Paranormal experiences, just strange things happening to me. I, I just, I knew something was different. I, I just, it's hard to explain, but when I reached my adolescence, um, actually coming out of my adolescence, coming into adulthood, I started to going through like this difficult time, this, this sort of depression, this existential anxiety that a lot of people face. And, you know, I was raised Catholic, grew up Catholic. I feel like I went as far as I could with that. Um, interestingly, in Catholicism, it often gets accused of saint worship, which I think is very interesting because you're you're calling upon the saints, um, which are really kind of actually a distorted version, but nonetheless a version of the archetypes. So before I even knew it, I was. I was working with the archetypes, which is magic, basically. But anyway, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. That point in my life, I just started looking for answers because what I knew was not enough. What what I knew as far as spirituality, um, you know, answers to this world, to this reality to who I really am, it just wasn't enough. I, I started looking for answers. And I really feel like this path found me. And once I started on this path, I made a promise to myself. And I said, I'm gonna go as far down the rabbit hole as I can possibly go. And you know, there have been times where I thought I knew things. And it's everything I knew to be true has been shattered. And I'm okay with that. 20 years later, I'm still okay with that. You know what? I just want to go as far down the rabbit hole as I could possibly go. My understanding of this reality, of who I am, is continually evolving. And I want to tell you, take everything you hear, everything you see, everything you learn, including what I say, take it with a grain of salt. Because it's all continually evolving. After all these years, I've come to something profound, and I know I've said this before, because it's happened before, it continues to happen. The truth is, there is no more powerful being that you will ever come in contact with than yourself. No being in existence in reality you will ever come in contact with that is more powerful than you. The human soul. There's something about it. And if you look deep, I'm talking deep, you really research this stuff. The spirituality, into conspiracy theories, into all that stuff, all the stuff that's really going on, if you really search for the truth, it's all converging here. It's all converging here on Earth. There's a reason for that. You call it what you will, the cabal, ETs, um, whatever you, you want to call them that are really so-called running things. They're not really running things. Not at the deepest level. But th there's a reason why it's all converging here. All this ancient battle for good and evil, 
all of it. It's converging here. There's something about the human soul. There's nothing more powerful. This force that is you, that is me, that is that is in the, your reality, there's nothing, nothing more powerful, more greater. I don't care who you channel, and yes, you go back on my page, you have seen me channel. I have channeled. I am a channeler. But you know what? There is no guide. There is no angel. There is no being. Not even the archetypes are more powerful than you. Not the gods and goddesses. Nobody. You are the most powerful being in your reality. You are here not to bow down to them, not to pray to them, not to worship them, but you are here to command them. That's right. They are here for you. You are the most powerful being in this universe. And it is all an external projection. All the, let me rephrase this. This, everything that seems external is an internal projection. It's all projecting out from you. You talk about the law of attraction, that was mistaken. Yes, you create your reality and you could attract what you want and what you think about and all that, but it's not really an attraction as much as it is, it's, it was misnamed. It should not be called the law of attraction because you're not attracting anything outside of you to you. You're bringing it out. It should be called the law of extraction. You're extracting it out. You're drawing it out of you. That which you wish to be, do, or have, or experience, you're drawing it from within. But here's the kicker. When I say you, it's beyond just this life, this personality, this persona, your job, your identity, who you think you are. It's, it's beyond that. It's, it's even beyond what you would think of as your higher self. It's, it's all of you. You are source. You are all encompassing. You are infinite. You are eternal. And let go of anything that's hierarchical. Anything that you give your power away to. Well, at least take it, take what you hear, what you learn, with a grain of salt. Including what I'm saying right now. Including anything from your own guides. Take everything with a grain of salt. There is no greater power in the universe than you. You are infinite. You are eternal. Stop giving your energy away to things, to, to politics, to, to these sales pitches, to anything that's being spun in the media, on social media, um, and other people's drama. Um, letting other people take your energy. Letting... Uh, things you see on TV, things you see in the media, anything outside of you. Um, stop focusing your energy on that. Focus your energy on you, on your power. And here's the kicker. Not only do you have to move beyond you, but don't try to control this power. Surrender to it. Don't just think about it, but feel it. Be it. Feel the essence of everything you are. It's, it's always in the background. It's, it's your lineage.
it's your soul code, it's your real DNA, your 12 strand DNA. It's the God you. It's beyond all of this. Don't try to control it. Surrender to itself. Allow it. And when you do that, just a side effect will be that everything will fall into place. You will be led by yourself, your true self. And make that your focus. Let that be your guidance, is truth and selfhood and, and wholeness. And don't blindly follow any religion or guru or guide or anything. Take it with a grain of salt. And that's not to negate any of my channelings or anybody else. Still listen to channelings. Still listen to teachers. But take everything with a grain of salt. Follow truth. Follow yourself. Follow your own inner guidance, your own inner path that is unique to you. Ultimately, it's like this. So, anything that you hear from a teacher, including a guide, including any, any, any being, even if this person or being seems enlightened, take it like this. It's just like asking somebody, asking a friend or a neighbor about a good restaurant in the area. You might go to that restaurant, you might try it, it could be for you, you could enjoy it or not. Take it the same way you would take that kind of advice. As, you know, keep an open mind and check it out but don't take anything as gospel don't take somebody else's truth as your truth follow you be you surrender to that deep essence that is you but beyond your own life beyond your persona really feel it really get into it Surrender to it. Bask in it. The most powerful energy, the most powerful healing, the most powerful force in your reality is you. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching. Namaste.